The microscope includes the microscope itself, the mounting base, mounting arm, a USB cable, the mounting hardware, the instruction manual, and this nice little storage case. Now let's start assembling the microscope. We'll take the mounting hardware out of the bag. Just take the base, turn it upside down. Let's put the bolts into the bottom of the base. Tighten them up. Then we can place the microscope into the base and tighten the top bolts to secure the microscope. There we go, we have it assembled. Now let's take a look at the image quality of the microscope. We're going to be taking a look at this Digistump Oak. You can see the size of it next to the USB connector there. There are some small resistors and capacitors that we'll be able to take a closer look at. One thing that I'll mention is that you need to take the lens cap off or the images will be very blurry. So we'll take that off and put it to the side. Turn the microscope on by pressing the button for a few seconds, then adjust the brightness by turning the dial on the side of the microscope. I'm going to switch over to the microscope view. We'll adjust it here. And you can see it's fairly clear images of the components there. You can turn the dial here to zoom in, get a good focus on it. So you can see it's not bad. A little antenna, solder pads, see the resistors, some capacitors there. So as you can see it's not too bad. Now let's take a look at the iPhone app. You can go to the App Store and search for DM Wi-Fi, or in the manual you can scan the QR code to link you over to the App Store. After the download, you can open the app. You'll need to connect to the Wi-Fi network DM Wi-Fi in your Wi-Fi settings. This is what it looks like in the iPhone app. We'll move it around so you can see some of the components. Still pretty good image quality. And if you aren't near a computer, you can use your phone to view the images. You can even take photos, save it to your photos library, and take video and save it to view later. Overall, not a bad deal for less than $50, and it provides some advantages over a traditional microscope in that you can save the images to files, and if you have a large monitor, you can use that to view the images instead of looking through a small viewfinder. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this review informative.